Hello and welcome or welcome back. I'm Bo and I'm all by my lonesome today because Wynn is in excruciating pain and is currently horizontal. Uh, I know I've mentioned it before, but recently uh, Wynn had to go to urgent care and then the emergency room uh, because incredible pain. It hurts to sit, it hurts to stand, it hurts all the time. Uh, so he has been to a doctor a bunch and he has actually missed a lot of work. So, uh, we are going to be on the struggle bus pretty soon, but, but we are currently ahead. We're still ahead on our budget. So we might be able to smooth things over if he can get back to work regularly, but also uh, he's going to be missing some more work coming up. Uh, he has a doctor's appointment in a couple weeks. And then physical therapy, question mark, question mark. Um, it, it's not good. Uh, it's not great. <laughs> so things are going to be changing a little bit. But that is how this goes. Um, so all that being said, this is our transactions for the first week of October. Uh, which for us is September 20th to September 26th. Because for us, the first paycheck of the month covers the first of the month. Because basically rent is the most, uh, is the most money out of everything we have. So we want to make sure that that is coming out of the same paycheck so we can plan better. Um, but do, do it as you want, y'all. Some people go with the first paycheck being... The first paycheck that happens in the calendar month some people do it literally the first to the 31st or whatever you know whatever makes more sense for you as long as the math adds up that's that's really all that matters y'all so again <laughs> sorry i'm rambling uh let's get into it so on the 20th we're actually coming back here because there isn't a whole lot of room um we used his june 14th paycheck uh, that was $1,988. And then my August 15th paycheck, which is $1,640. I am in a temporary raise, temporary promotion right now. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of this as much as I can and try to reach my goals as quickly as possible. Um, our goals, you know. But yeah, that, that paycheck got brought in. And then uh, Wynn paid the kids' co-pays, $40. That's a weekly expense. His student loan payment came out for $36. Heating bill was $51 because it's been hot. Um, dining, we had um, went out for pizza and hot dogs at Costco. You know, not like a restaurant, but uh, us and the kids had pizza and hot dogs uh, at Costco for $15. And then on the 21st, uh, Adventure Money got $20 and Miscellaneous got $30. Um, Adventure is where the kids' allowance comes from, but that depends on their behavior. So what happens is either they get the money or it goes towards going on adventures with them. Um, and then I stuffed my envelope categories. That was $400 total. And I had snacky snacks for $5. And then on the 22nd, more snacky snacks for $2. This was just a hot dog from Costco. This was, uh, on the 21st, it was chips. And I forgot what the other thing was. But it was actually two things. Um, then on the 23rd, I'd, I'd actually forgotten to put this in the budget earlier. Um... But on the 23rd, I brought in the August 23rd interest payment. That was $101 uh, for savings account interest. And then I paid $300 on Wynn's student loan, his biggest one, uh, well, his highest interest one. Uh, that was $300. And then on the 25th, the electric bill came out. That was $200 because, you know, air conditioners because it's been hot. And then on the 26th, we did our savings. So that was gifts for $80, uh, insurance for $200, Christmas for $14, and my school fund for $2. Um, and that was it for the week because we run 
things based on Wynn's paycheck. So the 20th to the 26th is where we're going here. Um, and if you're curious how we keep track of these paychecks that we bring in later, literally just have a post-it on the back of the calendar with the dates, the amounts, and then eventually which paycheck it'll go to, which pay period it'll go to. Uh, nothing fancy, but that is how we keep track of that. And then uh, for my envelope categories, uh, these are all revolving, so the money does roll over. Um, groceries, We this was like the first time I think we were right on the money. So I uh, started with $127, added 90, spent 90, left with $127. And then for bulk buys, which is part of groceries, this is just basically groceries that we get from Costco. Um, started with $41, added 40, spent 65. So we're left with 16. Um, we needed a bunch of stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. And thankfully we had the money. We didn't go over budget. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, transportation started with 25, added 60, spent 75. So now there's 10 left. Uh, this was wins, um, wins public, uh, public transportation monthly pass. Um, and then health added 75, spent 23. This was, oh, this was the heating pad for when, um, because pain. Uh, so we're left with $730. Uh, we are planning on spending $500 on this app that's supposed to, it has been helping with like our ADHD with getting our routines and our life in order. Um, we haven't done that yet though. Uh, home shopping started with 49, added 25, spent six. This was on spoons, <laughs> on coffee spoons, like stirring spoons, long stirring spoons, uh, because uh, I have, well, I and Wynn, we both have like thermoses and we put cocoa in our coffee. Um, it, it's, it's absolutely delicious as far as I'm concerned. Um, but to stir it in, you need a spoon and thermoses are pretty like tall. So a regular spoon doesn't quite like reach properly. So we got these stirring spoons, uh, is $6 for four of them. So we're left with $68 in home shopping, uh, birthdays. We just added $5 to the hundred three we already had. So that's 108 clothing started with 15 added 15, didn't spend any, so now there's 30. Shoes, started with 30, added 25, now we have 55. Uh, pet care, started with 100, added 15, so now we have 115. Uh, this we are actually going to be spending soon uh, because we make our cats food from scratch. Um, it It's a whole bunch at once, but then like he eats it slowly over the course of like three months is usually like how often we make it, it might be longer than that even. I'm not, I'm not sure. I never really pay attention. It's more like once we get down to a few containers, like, oh, okay, it's time to make cat food again. Um, but it does last quite a while. I get like the big case of chicken thighs from Costco. Uh, so it's like six giant packs. It's like 70 pounds or something like that. Um, and we have the meat grinder, we add in vitamins, like all the things. And uh, yeah, it works out pretty good. Much cheaper than buying store-bought food, uh, for us anyway, because our cat does not believe that kibble is real food. He'll literally just play with it and like starve and then try to steal your food. Uh, <laughs> he's a he's, he's special cat. Um, but so yeah, that's that. It's almost time to make it again. Uh, and then personal added 50, spent 16. So now there's 34 left and we're not doing rollover. So that is how my revolving categories are going. And then let's see what that means for the actual budget. So this is again, October paycheck number one. Uh, September 20th to October 3rd. Uh, so for this week, and this is just a, well, I, mm, this is just a spreadsheet that I got from Vertex 42. 
I really like their spreadsheets. It's free, you know. I, I'm very big on not spending a lot <laughs> on my budget. Um, but, you know, do what you want. It's, this is not terribly aesthetic, but the it's color coded to match my color coding on the calendar. So everything kind of fits together and I really like the way it's set up. Uh, so for week one, uh, his paycheck was the 1988 that was budgeted. Uh, my paycheck was the 1640 that was budgeted. Uh, other income, 101 because I'd forgotten to put in, I'd forgotten to budget my savings account interest in this paycheck. Uh, so we still have his that's coming up. Um, so that's fine. So that is a total of $3,729, uh, which is more than budgeted and that is a-okay. We are not investing anything because that's not where we are in our journey right now. So let's go to his spending. Um, Kid bills, we just had so far the $40 for the copay. Uh, still have some more to come out and that's, you know, as, as budgeted. Uh, heating bill was the 51. Uh, student loans was 36 as budgeted. Electric bill was 200 as budgeted because I actually, like, I checked the bills before I did this budget. Um, and then Venture got the 20 I was supposed to, miscellaneous got the 30. Um, so that is a subtotal of 377, which is way less than what was budgeted. But again, that's because the rent didn't come out and most of the kid bills are still have to come out. Uh, but that leaves us with $3,352. And then we go down to his saving. Um, we're only, we only did gifts this week for $80. I'll take out the, we'll take out the rest later. But just in case something happens and he ends up going over budget, I'd rather take from potential savings rather than like have to come out of like actual savings, like the sinking funds uh, that are already in there. I, I don't like that. I like them to build up until when we're supposed to spend it. Um, so yeah, the rest of the 80 will come out later. Uh, so that is a subtotal of 80, which is less than budgeted, but that's fine. Leaves us with $3,272. So then we go to my spending, which is my checking account. Um, haven't paid any of the monthly bills yet because these are due on the first. Um, and then his debt, I gave it 300 so far. Uh, it's, I'm still planning on giving it the 600, but I'm trying to leave wiggle room for if we end up going over budget because we are not even close to perfect. Um, already spent $22 out of the 30 budgeted for dining out, which it really looks like we're going to go over budget again, but you know, it is what it is. Groceries and bulk shopping got the 130 that was budgeted for this week. The other 130 is gonna be next week. And then transportation got the 60 that's budgeted. Health got the 75. Home shopping got the 25. Birthdays got the five. Clothing and shoes got the 40. Pet care got 15. Personal got 50, all as budgeted. We haven't gone over budget in any of those categories yet anyway. Um, that's a subtotal of $722. Leaves us with 2,550. So then we get to my saving, which is my savings account. Uh, so far we got the 200 of the 373 that's budgeted for insurance. I do still wanna save the rest, but I, I try to leave myself wiggle room, y'all. I really don't like taking money back from savings because I went over budget. I'd rather send less than take some back. That's just how my brain works, I would feel I would feel awful if I had to take, if I had to like empty out the savings just because I had like got too many, got too many snacks or something, you know. Uh, Christmas got 14 because we pulled a Christmas card on Friday, which was Thursday, you know, we record in advance. Uh, school got the, got $2. These are both less than budgeted, but that's fine because Christmas we're just, uh, we're pulling cards, so it's random. 
uh, and then school just got what was left over. So that is a subtotal of $216, leaves us with $2,334. We have not spent any savings so far, so that $2,334 is what's left. Uh, this will be a zero-based budget, but again, I like to give us some wiggle room uh, in case we go over budget so that we don't have to empty our savings categories if we can avoid it. Um, yeah, tell, tell me, how's your, how's your budget going? Um, I'm kind of scared. Uh, let's, let's be real. I have, I have a little bit of anxiety because Wynn is in so much pain that I worry about him, like, not being able to make it to work. Like, he can't get out of bed sometimes. Uh, send your, send your good vibes, please. Send your good vibes. Um, I'd really appreciate that. I'm sure he would too. Um. But yeah, like he's in so much pain that I'm really worried that like all our work to put us ahead in the budget is going to kind of be like whittled away by him missing work by like being in a lot of pain. Um, like when I say he can't sit without pain, like I'm, I'm not joking. It, he can't sit. He can't stand. He's like. He's an excruciating pain. So I'm really worried about our budget, but also I feel kind of confident because we're already ahead. Um, oh, that's, I didn't mention that. So the reason why I'm concerned is because when, 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 <laughs> Uh, takes days off because he is sick or can't come to work for whatever reason. He doesn't get paid time off, y'all. He doesn't get paid. He doesn't get paid if he doesn't go to work. So his his next check is going to be real short. And it's kind of terrifying. But what's going to end up happening is we're going to just be less ahead essentially so he might like not be a month ahead anymore uh but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make the math math it, it's okay it's okay it's more important that he be okay than he like go to work every day if that makes sense like he's in a lot of pain um and he got like he got a steroid shot. He got like lidocaine patches. He got, um, he got some other meds and nothing like helps for more than a few hours at a time. Uh, so it's, it's kind of scary and I really worry about him because y'all, Seeing the person you, you love, like, the most in the world in pain, it, I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know. It's rough. It's real rough. Um, but, you know, when you have situations like this, one, of course, you're going to deal with the situation differently based on your relationship and, and who, who you are as people, and that's, that's fine. But also, when it comes to your budget... Um, if you don't have enough paid time off or your paid time off isn't your full pay, because sometimes paid time off is less than your normal pay. Um, things like that, or you get commissions or you get tips. And then of course you're not gonna get those if you don't go to work. Um, you kind of need to plan things out in advance so that they don't completely derail you and have you empty out your emergency fund uh, due to being ill or not being able to take perfect, perfectly good care of yourself for a short period of time. Um, so I feel like that's kind of the place where we find ourselves now. Um, and it's kind of scary, but also I feel okay because we have a decent budget and we are ahead. Um, he still has he still has this paycheck to still pull from. Uh, so the next check is going to be short. So what we're probably going to do is when he gets the next check, 
we might use that for the second paycheck of the month, if that makes sense. So use this for the paycheck that has the rent in it and use that shorter check for the paycheck that's going to have lower bills in it um, so that we are not hurting too much. We just won't be able to save as much as we normally would, but we could still technically stay the same number of paychecks ahead, if that makes sense. Um, because there's such a drastic difference in how many bills are on the first paycheck of the month versus the second. Um, which is kind of why, again, we go with having the first paycheck of the month, the, the paycheck that covers the first. Because as you can see, like most of the bills, most of the bills happen around this time period. Um, so if this is the bigger check and the other one is a smaller check and it only has to cover like $200 or something, like that's, that's fine. That's great. Uh, we could still save. We can still stay technically that number of paychecks ahead, just not that same amount of money ahead, if that makes sense. And that's part of why we decided that instead of being ahead on certain bills, we'd be ahead on our paychecks themselves. Because then we can pick and choose which paycheck we put where and make the math add up. Uh, so that that is that. That is our weekly check-in. Um, let me know how you're doing. I know I've I've been kind of, you know, freaking out a little bit. But let me know how you're doing. How's your budget doing? Um, how would you handle not having paid time off when it comes to this kind of situation uh, that's coming up. Because of course, we are already, we already have the money set aside for this month, but when that paycheck comes, when that paycheck comes, how would you handle it? Would you dip into your savings? Would you use like your emergency fund or are you at the point where you can move things around so that it doesn't actually um, put you behind? Let a girl know. Let a girl know. And what you think about being ahead on your paychecks rather than ahead on certain bills. I love you. I appreciate you. Never forget that you deserve financial stability, even if you don't have paid time off. Have a great day on purpose. Bye.